hey, welcome to Storytime Adventure. Today we're having fun with pigs. We have a story and some other activities. And I have been having lots of fun with my pig friends here. I got one right here. And I've got a pig puppet. And I've got a beanie pig, which kind of flies across the room occasionally. So we're going to play with our pigs today. Um, and I thought I'd start with something that you might remember when you were a little kid. Did anybody ever take your foot and take your foot <laughs> and tell you a rhyme that was called This Little Piggy? Well, we're going to do that today. Um, and we're going to have some fun with it. I'm going to change my camera so you can see what I'm doing to my feet. Okay, so when I was a little kid, somebody would take my toes and go, this little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home, this little piggy had roast beef, this little piggy had none, and this little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Well, kids' feet are really cute, but mine isn't. Mine's a big, ugly foot. So I thought what I would do is put some stickers on my foot so they can smile at you. All right, this little piggy went to market. Yeah, smiley face. This little piggy stayed home. <laughs> you can draw on your feet too. This little piggy had roast beef. Smiley face. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went Wee, 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 all the way home. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you can draw on your feet. I don't think your parents will mind too much. <laughs> it comes off, right? Okay, well, that's just the basic rhyme, but I, I made up another rhyme. Um, I'm going to call this the fast food little piggy rhyme. It goes like this. This little piggy went to Burger King. This little piggy went to Taco Bell. This little piggy went to KFC. This little piggy went to McDonald's and ate the French fries all the way home. <laughs> so when you do this to kids, you kind of squeeze their toes. And then I thought, oh my goodness. I read a story that was called Pigs in Space. And so I found some space stickers. And the one that I made up was this one. This little piggy went to Jupiter. There's a sticker for Jupiter. This little piggy went to Mars. There, I got Jupiter and Mars on my toes. This little piggy went to the moon. I have a moon sticker. And <laughs> this little piggy went to Saturn. Wow. And this little piggy <laughs> took a rocket all the way to the stars. There we go. So you can kind of make up your own rhymes with your feet. <laughs> and that's a great rhyme that everybody does with their little kids. This little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Well, I thought I would change the camera again. And let's meet one of my puppet pigs. Yeah, I have a puppet pig right here. And he loves pig jokes and pig rhymes. So we have a bowl of pig jokes that our pig is going to grab and we can read. And I hope you think they're funny because I, I really do. So this first pig joke is, what do you call a pig with no legs? A groundhog. <laughs> Let's do another one. Come on, Mr. Pig. There we go. Oh, he's got another one. Let's see what it says. Why was the mama pig so tired? Because all her kids wanted piggyback rides. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have a ton of them, right? Let's see. Oh, she's got this one right here. Hey, Mr. Pig. Keeps coming up with more jokes, pig jokes. 
what do you call a pig story that isn't true? Hogwash! <laughs> well, our pig story today, um, our pig story today isn't true either, but it's funny. So I think I'm going to tell one more joke. And then we're going to do our story. Let's see. Come on. Let's see what you got, Mr. Pig. Let's see. Okay. Oh, why should you never tell a pig a secret? Because they'll squeal. <laughs> they'll tell. They'll tell it. Okay. Well, enough silly pig jokes. I have more. And you might get some more later. But we are going to tell a story called when pigs fly and i have some pictures <laughs> to tell it with but here's our story of when pigs fly well have you ever heard that expression somebody says yeah when pigs fly <laughs> pigs don't really fly do they no, pigs really don't fly. So that means if somebody is waiting to do something until pigs fly, it means it's probably impossible or it's going to take forever. But in this story, magically, our pigs flew. It already happened. So you don't have to wait until pigs fly. It's just kind of a silly expression. So once upon a time, there was a pig named Tracy, Tracy the pig. And Tracy's big dream was she really wanted to fly. That's all she wanted to do. She would sit in the yard and look up at the sky and the birds would fly by. And Tracy dreamed about flying. She really dreamed about flying. She would have dreams where she would be way up high in the sky, flying, woo! <laughs> and she even tried it out. She'd wake up and she goes, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe if I ran into the wind, the wind would pick me up and I would fly. Hmm. But that didn't work. Can you at home think of a suggestion to tell Tracy the pig about how she might be able to teach herself to fly. Have you got one? Did you ever try to fly? <laughs> I jumped off a doghouse once because I thought I could, you know, float down to the ground. It didn't work. What should we tell Tracy? Have you got any suggestions at home? Well, once she climbed up to the stack, uh, a stack of a bale of hay and jumped off. Boom. <laughs> and she fell down and that didn't work that's kind of like me jumping off the doghouse i can't fly neither could tracy let's see what else she headed into the wind oh in this story she saw a flock of geese flying by and she convinced them to pick her up and take her up in the air but you know pigs are kind of fat and kind of heavy and that didn't work out well for any of of the people involved not Tracy and not the geese Boom! <laughs> she hit the ground but then as Tracy was dreaming watching the birds fly by looking at them fly in the sky saying goodbye to the geese Somebody showed up to help her. Sheep showed up to help her. And she said, Tracy, I hear you want to fly. That's right. Well, you should go out to the woods. What woods? Yeah, out to the woods on the edge of the farm. There is a spirit of the woods there, and the spirit of the woods will help you fly for sure. That was sheep's, sheep's advice. So Tracy thought about that, and she was so desperate to fly that she decided that she'd go out to the woods, and she did. And when she got there, who did she meet? But who? <laughs> who did she meet? Owl. Owl was the spirit of the woods. And Owl said, 
well, I hear you want to fly. Maybe I can help you, but there's going to be a price. I can help you magically fly, but every time you do fly, there'll be a price. Something will happen to you. But Tracy was so desperate to learn how to fly and to be able to fly. She said, that's okay. <laughs> I want to fly so bad. So the owl said, the spirit of the woods, who is the owl, said, all right, granted, you can now fly. So Tracy thought, oh, great. And she jumped up into the air and flew. She flew around and around and she went up and down and swooped and swirled and as she, she got a little tired so she was headed back home but as she as she neared the barn she felt something a little funny on her back end what was going on <laughs> there's there's Tracy's tail she felt something a little funny on her back end well the spirit of the woods said, there's going to be a price to pay every time you fly. What happened? Oh, no. Tracy's tail disappeared. But Tracy said, oh, I don't care. I don't need that tail. Yeah, it was cute. It was cute, and it was curly, boing, boing, boing. But I don't need it. I'd rather fly. <laughs> so Tracy went to bed that night and the next day she got up and she decided to fly again so off she went up in the air around and around flying like crazy having so much fun but she started to feel something that was wrong oh no there she is <laughs> but something with her feet and her <laughs> and her feet what was wrong with her feet but she flew on and flew on and flew on and when she finally got tired and came down to land what happened she has no hoofs <laughs> and the next time she flew she lost her nose. What? Well, pigs really need their hoofs. And pigs really need their nose because they sniff around for truffles in the mud and they dig around in the mud with their hooves. They really need those. And Tracy thought, well, I have no nose and I have no hoofs. It's really getting a little hard to walk when I get down to the ground now. I have more like paws instead of hoofs. That's not what pigs have. But when I'm up in the air, I just love it. She loved to fly. So she flew one more time. Up in the air she went the next day. And she flew all around and swirled all around. She goes, I don't care about my nose. I don't care about my tail. I don't care about my hooves. I just have, have some fun flying. But then all of a sudden, her skin started to feel just a little bit itchy. Whoa, what was happening? And when Tracy got down, oh, she was so unhappy. She had started to grow fur all over her body. Not only did she have no tail, she had no nose, she had no hoofs, but she had crazy fur growing all over her body. And she didn't even recognize herself. And neither did the humans that owned the farm. And they chased her away off into the woods because they didn't recognize her. She didn't look like a pig at all. She wasn't herself at all. She was just a silly, funky looking creature. So when she got to the woods, guess who she met? The spirit of the woods. Who did she meet? <laughs> the owl. And she says, oh, I'm so unhappy, Mr. Owl, Mr. Owl. I don't even look like a pig. Yep. She says, well, yes, 
That's true, you paid the price. All animals are given special gifts. Your special gift with your nose and your tail and your skin and your hoofs. That's what made you a pig and that's what made you special. Now, hmm, I'm not so sure. Oh, please, 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 please. I just want to go back to being a pig. Can you change me back? And the owl said, okay. He said, sure. Yep, you've learned your lesson. We can do that. And so poof, the owl, the spirit of the woods flew off. And as Tracy flew back, she changed back into her pig cell. And when she landed down at the farm, she had her nose, she had her tail, she had her hoofs, and she was Tracy again. And she decided, yes, might be nice to fly, but it sure is great being a pig. And she was happy. And that's the end of the story. So <laughs> what do you think? Are people a little bit like pigs? Do we not all have something special about us that we really, really, really like to hang on to that makes us different and makes us special? I think we do. All right. So that's our story today. And I have one kind of fun thing to do that I'm going to teach you. <laughs> it's a pig calling contest. Actually, it's not a contest. It's just something fun to do. I was watching pig calling contests from Iowa and I learned this little rhyme. So you can repeat after me and we're going to use our hands. So I want you to clap above your head. I'm going to move back again so you can see clapping your head. Get it going like this. All right, clap and clap and then repeat everything I say. Here, piggy, 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 pig, pig, pig. All right, repeat. Here, piggy, 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 pig, pig, pig. <laughs> okay. And come here, pig, 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 pig. All right, ready? Come here, pig, 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 pig. <laughs> More clapping. Here, piggy, 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 pig, pig, pig. When I say hey, you say pig. Hey, pig, hey, pig. When I say come, you say pig. Come, pig. Come, pig, you got that? <laughs> All right. Hey, pig, come, pig. Hey, pig, come, pig. Here, piggy, 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 pig, pig, pig. Here, piggy, 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 pig, pig, pig. <laughs> when I say pork, you say chop. Pork, chop, pork, chop, pork, chop. And one more time. Piggy, 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 pig, 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 piggy, 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 pig, pig, pig. All right, just a little fun there. Kind of a fun, almost song, kind of a chant. And today we have a craft that has to do with pigs and flying. Um, it's funny that pigs really don't have wings, and that's why they don't fly. But we are going to make some special wings on my table here so we can have our pig flying wings now this is just made out of a piece of newspaper but if you have a piece of plain paper that works too and so i'm going to grab my piece of paper we're going to use some paint as well and a little brush so if you've gathered these supplies ahead of time before story time, you might have them around. And then I have some ribbon, but you can also, you can also cut up a t-shirt into strips, one inch strips, and that makes it stretchy. And then you'll be able to wear your pig wings later. And maybe you can fly, I don't know. So let's get started. I have a paint and a brush and a piece of newspaper. So I'm gonna open up my piece of newspaper to make my pig wings. And I did mention that I have paint, but if you don't want to get as messy as I do, you can always use marker. I always have markers around. And you can just start to color. Whoops, that marker's dried up. You can just start to color your piece of paper in lots of crazy designs and lots of things that you think should be on magic pig wings. 
but I'm gonna do it with paint here too because I love to be messy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop drops of paint with my brush all in random spots on my piece of newspaper. And today I chose the colors orange and yellow. So there's, whoops, and I'm putting lots of drops of paint. I'm gonna use up this whole thing and put spots all over my piece of paper. And maybe you have a different kind of piece of paper. I just happen to have some newspaper because it was the biggest piece of paper that I had. And so now I'm gonna do some yellow, some drops of yellow paint. Oops, you know what? My brush had a bunch of orange on it, so my yellow is gonna mix in a little bit, but that's okay, because that's what I'm gonna try to do here in a minute anyway, is mix it so it gets all streaky and pretty and it doesn't take too long, okay? And again, if you wanna do markers instead of paint, that's, that's okay too, because paint gets a little messy. And I should have grabbed my paper towel, but I didn't. Oops. Okay, so there's my paint. Now I'm going to take my newspaper and fold it. Fold it in half to the paint on the inside, and then I'm brushing it. And I can feel all those spots of paint that I made on my paper. And it's going to get streaky. I think we'll find out. So I'm pressing it over here and over here, and then I'm gonna open it and see what I've got. Okay, here we go. Wow! <laughs> I've done this kind of thing before I get crafty. It's kind of squish painting. Whoa! <laughs> to me, I see a sunshine and Oh, with a big beard, maybe, and all these are the streaks of the sun. So you can squish that around a little bit more if you want. Now, it takes a little minute to dry. So during this session right here, it won't be dry enough to do the rest. But if you wait for 10 or 20 minutes, your squishy painting will be dry. Ooh, there I made it a little bit squishier and spread out the paint just a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you with a dry piece of newspaper that I painted yesterday, um, what we're gonna do next. But now you have to wait till this dries for about 10 minutes. So let me put that down, and I'm gonna get out the piece of paper that I did yesterday. And yesterday I used some green. <laughs> and I made kind of some squish painting too. So now what I want you to do is take the end and start gathering it together. You know there's a crease of, of where you fold it in half. And along that crease, you can kind of gather it together into the middle, like, like that. See how I bunched it up? And then you pull it straight. Because I really crushed it. I pull it straight, so each side, see how I'm holding it in the middle? So each side is a wing. I'll show you my example first. See how I did it? That's how it's going to look. And that's how mine looks now, except I'm holding it in the middle. And I can straighten it out so it looks a little prettier when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my ribbon. And I have two long pieces of ribbon. And I'm going to tie, I'm going to fold one in half. Let's see. Okay, so I can show you how to do that. Fold it right in half. Ta-da! There's the one end of my ribbon, and there's the, the two ends. And I'm going to put it right at the fold in half around the center of my magical pig flying wings. There we go. And I'm going to tie it tight, like that. One more little loop. Okay. And then at the end, see how the two ends are together? There's gonna to be a loop here because I'm gonna put those around my arms. I'm gonna tie another little knot. Ta-da, okay. So that's for one arm. I'm gonna stick my arm through that because I can wear it. I'm gonna move that to the back. 
moving my loop to the back so I can wear it so the pretty pig wings stick out the front. Okay, so then I fold my other ribbon in half and tie it around, I'm flipping it over so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to tie it on because this is a loop for my other arm because I'm going to wear these pig wings. Tie it and then tie the two ends together. All right, so painting is the most fun. <laughs> okay, so I have two loops. I have one over here for one arm and one over here for the other arm. And then I turn it over and I've got flying pig wings. So I'm gonna turn it back to, whoops, turn it back to the other camera. There's my pig wings, so should I put them on? I'm gonna try it. So there's my ribbon. I'm gonna put my arm through that side. And then put my arm through the other side. And if I turn around, let's see what we're gonna see. I hope you see pig wings. <laughs> there we go. So they're a little small for me, but for you, they ought to work out pretty good because you're a kid. <laughs> All right, so I hope you had some fun today listening to this story, making pig wings, and hearing some jokes, because I sure did. So join us again next time for Storytime Adventure. Well, thank you to everybody that tuned in today. If you are catching this video later, then we hope you join us live next time. We do this program every Thursday morning at 11 a.m. There's always a new story, and there's always something hands-on to do. Join us also for Kids Craft Lab. That happens every Tuesday at 11 a.m. We are doing arts and crafts, unique things, usually with supplies you can find around the house. So join us live for that and get messy and create something new. And every Friday at 11 a.m. we're doing First Step Science. So we're using and creating scientific tools and we are uncovering the mysteries of the universe right here in our own homes. So those are all at 11 o'clock. Those are all virtual programs, but they're all hands-on and you can find information on joining those and all of our archive videos at uh, greatlakeskids.org and you can click on offerings. If you wanna keep this type of programming on the air, we appreciate any donations that you're able to give. It really helps us out. You can go to that same website, greatlakeskids.org slash donations to find information and a link to donate right there. All that information is there. So again, we hope you join us next time. We're looking forward to seeing you. And until then, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye.